This is a really easy jackfruit recipe that you can use with frozen jackfruit. This one you're going to cook with a frozen green young jackfruit that's been just taken out of the freezer. You can see here there's only a few ingredients, it's very simple. Some onion, garlic, I love garlic, very good for you. I've used a few spinach leaves in this, but you can mix and match to your taste. I'm going to use a curry leaf, but I'm going to use a bit of curry powder in this. I use a little bit of chilli, lightly dried. You can use the, just the straight dried chilli and chop it up. This is already chopped up, this one. And you, again, you can add to your taste, um, whether you like more or less or none. It's fine. Um, we're also going to use a little bit of um, mustard seed. And I've got a little bit of turmeric there as well too. <clears throat> So the first thing we'll do is we'll just dice up our garlics and our onions and we'll do that now. Yes. Yep. As you can see we've diced it up nice and small, you can dice it up smaller if you want. Um, as far as the number of um, garlics and onions you use, it's really over to you. Um, you can mix and match again as you prefer. So what we're going to do now is we've got a, about four tablespoons of olive oil in a fry pan here. So I'm just going to bring this over so you can see. So we have about four tablespoons of oil in there. We're just heating it up now. Turn up the heat. Let that heat up a bit. And then what we're going to do, add to that, is we're going to add some mustard seeds. Just half a teaspoon is enough. As that oil gets nice and hot. Half a teaspoon or so of mustard seeds. And I'll let that heat up a bit more. And then we're going to add our either our spinach leaf, I like to add spinach leaves, or you can add curry leaf. As you can see, that's very hot. <clears throat> and of course, the um, spinach leaves have been washed, so there's a bit of water in them, so they're going to. Uh, split up a little bit the oil. You might have a cover or something you can use. I just step away from the, the can and I'll turn the heat down a little bit. I'll do that now while it's sort of settled a bit. And that should be plenty there. And it'll start settling down a bit. So when it's settled down, <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to add our ingredients here. We've got our chili. I'm just going to add a little because I'm not really a big chili fan. I don't like it too hot, but you might be different, so you might like to add a bit more than this. And I'm going to add also the, gun, the garlics and the onions. I love garlics and onions, so I'm going to add plenty of that. I'll tell you what I like to add as well, which I, I just particularly like the flavour and the... Um, and the health benefits of mushrooms. I like to add some mushrooms at times. I won't add them this time. If you have mushrooms, they're really healthy and good for you. So now we're just going to let that heat up a bit and just cook. Just stir it a bit. Stir it around so it doesn't burn or stick to the pan. And then I like to add a little bit, just a tiny bit of curry. Again, you might have the curry leaves, they're fine. I just like to add a little bit. I should add about <clears throat> half a teaspoon or so. Curry powder. I like to mix it in <clears throat> a little bit too. Smell already. So we just want to let that simmer for a few minutes. I've got it on a low heat. Just everything's starting to thoroughly cook there. I like to add a little bit of salt too, just as a seasoning. I don't add too much, but just remember how much salt you are adding. As you through the process, you might like to add a bit more to, 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 as to taste than that, depending on what you like. So 
just about ready. Again, keep it just down on the low heat there. You don't want things burning on you. Because they can cook quite quickly, the uh, find the garlics and onions. And I don't usually like to cook garlics too long, so oftentimes in dishes I'll put garlics in last because I like to have them, for me personally, as raw as possible because I know that the health benefits in raw garlic is, is substantial. So what we're going to do now is add our jackfruit. I think it's about ready. So this is frozen jackfruit. So I'm just going to add it in. It's sliced up nice and small. It makes it cook a bit quicker. Jackfruit is actually the vegan meat. It's uh, obviously a fruit. As you can see, it looks pretty much like a pork or a little bit of chicken there. And it absorbs all the, the flavours. So it's very good for cooking. And it goes nice soft texture, but firm. So it actually, the texture is like a meat texture. And of course, it's a, it's a neutral, neutral um, taste, so it absorbs all the the flavours of the spices and herbs that you're using. Just going to turn that back up a little bit. Going up from probably middle, the mid flame, and mid temperature. And we're just going to let that. Just going to make sure I stir it all in, making sure it's covered in oil or the the jackfruit. And we're going to leave that for probably about ten minutes or so. We'll stir it occasionally. We just want to let that all. So to soak in and start to cook and soften. Add the last remaining bits of the jackfruit here. Okay. So we'll leave that now just to uh, cook for about 10 minutes. It's been about 10 minutes now. As you can see, that's cooking quite well. Just um, stir it a bit more. The only other thing I've added is a little bit of turmeric, or just about half a teaspoon, and a little bit more seasoning. So it's coming along really nice. It's softening up a lot, and it's starting to caramelize at the bottom there. So what I'm gonna do now is just leave it for another 10 minutes to simmer on probably mid to low heat and then that should be all ready. Such an easy dish to make and very quick. And then you can just plate it up, put on your favourite plate and it's ready to eat. That's frozen jackfruit and what you can do with it. Please um, subscribe and like our channel. Subscribe to our channel there we get more recipes and obviously more information too about fruit and how to cook with different types of fruits and just general information too about fruits and what you can do with them.